extra minutes. Uh, the Church of Scientology has uh, uh, apparently a number of places, compounds, in secretive compounds almost, in remote locations around America. We went to one in New Mexico. But on this compound, we're told, is a house which is built for L. Ron Hubbard's return. There are a few unusual features at this compound. This building is set into the side of a mountain which leads to an underground vault. We're also told that there is a house specifically built for L. Ron Hubbard's return. Even though he died 27 years ago, he apparently is coming back. And he'll be guided here by huge symbols cut into the landscape, seen only from the air. Did you feel like you were getting the full story out there? Of course not. I knew almost immediately, and I think the group that I was with knew almost immediately, that we were only seeing what they wanted us to see. Former local police chief Tim Gallegos is one of the few outsiders who have been inside the compound. What did you see inside? Because it is clearly built into that mountain. They bored into the side of a rock face, and I don't know how far off the ground this thing is, but we took a small elevator up to it. Uh, I would say probably about three or four stories, equivalent to about three or four stories. Sorry, they, they put an elevator in it out there? Yes. Then we were allowed to go into uh, their vault, and that's how they were presenting it to us, is that it was a, kind of like a time, uh, a time vault type thing, and they were there to, to restore and to save uh, most of the teachings and instructions uh, that L. Ron Hubbard had produced. And there, apparently, in this house is a maid and a staff who are awaiting his return. As Marty Rathburn says, he's been a little tardy. He, he doesn't seem to have turned up yet. But we're waiting. 